Hi, this is Mike Moo from HIPAA Watchdog. And today I'm going to share with you one of the tools that I've been recommending as a baseline security risk analyzer for Microsoft Windows PCs and servers. It's probably less useful for servers, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, anyways, you can download the Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer 2.3. You can either Google for it, or you can visit the link um, that I have here shown on a screen here. And it's just as simple as clicking download. Uh, choose the version that is applicable. There's actually, these just signify the different languages available. So you want the one in E that ends in EN. And X64 just means it's for the 60-bit, 64-bit version of Windows. Uh, if you have a recent PC, this is pretty much what you're going to run. If you have a really, really old one, I have to ask you why you're running it. And in case you do, there's the x86 version as well. So if you have a relatively recent computer system, as I think all of you do, um, go ahead and download that one and then just basically install it. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead because I already downloaded that. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like here. So when you run it, you'll have to allow it to have user access uh, account control and admin rights. So here, here's what it is. So this is the Microsoft Security Analyzer. And this is version, of course, the latest version is 2.3. It actually downloads a couple of updates uh, before you uh, run the scans in some cases. However, realize that it is a little bit outdated. And this is, again, a freely provided tool. It's not going to be as comprehensive as some of the other solutions available out there. But again, remember that it is free and it is actually very useful to check to make sure that you have all the proper security updates on your computer system. So I purposely left this computer somewhat not protected and up to date so that you can see the, an example of what this looks like. So in this example, uh, I'm just gonna scan a computer, which is this, this local computer, but you can actually have it scan multiple computers, and then you can actually see what the reports have been like so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and scan this computer. And of course, this is the name of this computer, which is White PC. You can leave the rest of this alone because it's only this computer. However, if you are scanning a range of IP addresses or different computer systems uh, within your network, probably from the server, you can actually type in your IP address here. I would probably leave the, most of this stuff um, alone by itself. It doesn't really hurt to keep this on, even though I don't have any SQL on here or IIS installed on this local uh, desktop since it's not a server and I don't have any of the SQL stuff running. As far as, well, actually, I might have some SQL on here. Anyways, just leave this alone. Uh, check for security updates. Go ahead, leave that alone. Um, if, you, if you have any of these other options available, uh, such as Windows Server Update Services uh, for uh, running on your network, which is great, by the way, then you can go ahead and add those on there as well. And then you can go ahead and start to scan. And so what it does is it downloads security update information, the latest stuff from Microsoft to see uh, you know, what updates are out there available for your computer system that you are scanning or computer systems that you're scanning and it downloads that and then it gives you a very quick security risk assessment. So this is the security risk assessment here and you can see it's a severe risk according to this Microsoft baseline security analyzer and it gives you all this information here. Um, you can have the score, uh, you, you can sort the score about what's the worst things about it. Okay, all this is good. So local account password test. Um, so uh, it, it seems that I have a couple accounts that have four to five blank simple passwords where they can be analyzed. You can find out more details about the results. What's important is you actually look to see what was scanned. And that will actually pop up to let you know exactly what it scans for. Now, the reason why this is the case with this local machine is I actually have um, local VNC stuff, which I don't have that much security on. So this is the reason why this is uh, 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 the case here. So um, it, it gives you some examples on how to fix that and how to correct this but via link here, which is also opens up a website to let you know what some of the solutions are to fixing this. And we can talk about this a little bit more in detail with um, any, sec any uh, scheduled security risk analysis meeting that we have um, that's included with your HIPAA watchdog subscription. So th this gives you what's going on. See, as you can see, most, of, most issues that they have here are related to passwords. And frankly, passwords are the number one thing that uh, a lot of organizations are not keeping up to date or making them robust enough. And I always have to tell people, you got to change your password. You should never let a password have non-expiring passwords. See, some accounts have non-expiring passwords. That's actually a really good um, example of something that you should change immediately is to make sure that passwords actually expire.
whether you set it at 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever feels appropriate. And I have a whole uh, presentation on that that you can go ahead and check out in HIPAA Watch. I'll go near the video section. Okay, so um, here's some additional system information. Uh, IE zones uh, was not set for security setting for some users and gives you examples how to correct that. So you can see this isn't actually that ba that bad of a security risk analysis, but it is still a severe risk, mostly because these are the critical checks that failed. Now, the file system, not all hard drives using NTFS. Well, really, you want NTFS if you're running a whole, whole computer uh, Microsoft network, right? But I also run with, with Macs as well, and so that's why... Uh, this this says that they're not NTFS file systems, and that's that's perfectly fine. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer. Please go ahead and download this for free. It's complimentary from Microsoft, and this will give you some real important basic uh, analysis of um, what's secure and what's up to date. And it's really good for keeping to make sure that your computers are up to date. So you can actually print out this report, you copy it to clipboard, put it in some of the report, but uh, I recommend keeping copies of all this in HIPAA and also documenting that you've performed these security risks on that periodic basis. It's one of those questions where you where you check, right? You check the logs, you check the computers, uh, make sure that things are up to date. It's one of the basic things you got to do. And this is a, such a tool that can help you do that. All right. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.